Hey guys, welcome back to All Things Nicola. It is your girl Nicola and I am so, so excited to be with you guys today. We are going to be talking about a few things and I want you to get comfortable, get your cup of tea ready or your cold drink and let's get straight into the video. Okay, so guys, um, we are just going to be talking about the importance of trusting your gut, okay? This is so, so, so important in life to trust that gut feeling. Um, sometimes it can be r random times when you're about to go somewhere and you're just like, something's telling me not to leave the house um, and you don't follow through, then you end up going to the place and something terrible happens or, you know, you end up listening to it and not going and finding out that something happened where you were supposed to go. It's such an important thing, whether it's in your job, whether it's your business, whether it's your life, whether it's relationships, listen to your gut. It will never steer you the wrong way. And the most amazing thing about it is, um, I have certain friends that might not necessarily be Christian, might not necessarily be believers, and they still have that same gut feeling because the Holy Spirit is there for everyone. Um, regardless of whether you realize it or not, he is there for you. And um, listening to that can help you limit a lot of problems, a lot of like heartbreaks, a lot of issues. When your gut is telling you something, it knows what it's doing. Um, it's trying to protect you. It's trying to make sure that you're going to be okay. Um, it's helping you avoid certain things in life. Um, for example, if you've got a gut feeling that you shouldn't go to an interview, um, most likely that job is really not going to be for you. And once you don't listen to it and you carry on and you go ahead, you're going to probably have a lot of problems in that job. Um, it's happened to me several times with several things that I've just ignored. Then later on, I'm like, oh my gosh, I was supposed to listen to this um, and it would have saved me so much. But one thing as well, um, I want to say, if you've had instances like that, where you've had that gut feeling and you've not followed it through, don't beat yourself up about it. It's a learning experience. It's a learning process. Um, don't ever feel like something that has happened in your life, as traumatic as it might be, as hurtful as it might be, um, it's still working together for your good. It's still working together for your good. It's still going to build you up. Don't allow that situation or that instance or whatever it was to stop you from being to progress further and um, being able to progress further in your life. Don't allow anyone or anything um, stop you from being able to move forward. Whatever happens in your life, take it as a learning curve, take it as a process, take it as part of the journey and know that you will still get over it and you will still be able to pick yourself up and move forward. It's not always easy. It does come with challenges. It is so hard sometimes, emotionally, physically. It can be just so draining trying to pick yourself up, but always know that because you left one situation and you managed to get out of it, you'll be able to do it again and again and again. It's just part of life. Um, I've been reading a few books lately that talk to me about, you know, faith and about failure as well. And people that fail are those that don't get up when they fall. Um, it's not because they, they kept on trying and kept on failing. You will sometimes, but once you do, you know, see yourself lower than you want to be, pick yourself up. It takes time. Go with the process, go with the flow and carry on with whatever you need to do and make sure you get to where you need to be. Don't allow situations in life to block you completely or to completely make you give up because things happen. Um, people are people, nobody is perfect. People hurt, some, hurt you sometimes, situations can crush you sometimes, but pick yourself up from where you are and go to the next level, go to where you need to go. Um, and I'm gonna be talking about this a lot more frequently because I see that especially us young people, we get so um, disheartened sometimes when certain things happen in life and we don't know how to pick ourselves back up. And it's not always the same, it doesn't always look the same. Sometimes it can be just venting to someone you trust. Sometimes it can be switching off your phone for a week and needing time with your inner self. Sometimes it can be praying, it can be worshiping, um, it can be going to a certain event and just like letting loose. It can look like anything, you know, any time. Um, but we need to always try our best to figure it out. Um, 
and just push through to the next stage. Um, but yeah, guys, I hope that helps. I just wanted to encourage you guys and share something with you that I've learned and I've been learning and, and that's helped me and that's, it's still helping me um, every day. And I just want you guys to see if you can implement it in your life, see what the results are. Tell me about experiences you've had where you've not listened to your gut and what ended up happening or when you had listened to your gut and what ended up happening i'd be so interested to know um, you can definitely say it in the comments or go to my instagram um, and go ahead and let me know in the dms there on all things nicola and i'll definitely respond to you guys um, and yeah so i hope you enjoy the video and i'll definitely see you next time make sure you like subscribe comment and share and we are out bye